Renaissance and Sherwin, written and told by Thomas Boy. One day, Thomas pulled some coal trucks into the transfer yards after the mainland had a shortage of coal for the past few weeks, and the little engines were looking forward to getting some coal for their busy, their hard days of work. Thomas had a surprise for Renaissance. Hello, Renaissance. Hello, Thomas, said Renaissance. Renaissance was the only one in the transfer yards as the other little engines were still at work. I have a surprise for you, he said. What is it, said Renaissance. A new pet visitor from Pawtucket has arrived and I want you to meet him. Mr. Percival says you gotta give him a tour around your little railway. Renaissance was very pleased. Who is it? said Renaissance. His name's Sherwin. He's a sheepdog. Sherwin popped out of Thomas's cab. Who we? he said. It's hot in there. Like a stick melt take a melted butter on rye. The the what? said Thomas. It's just an expression, said Sherwin. Oh, said Thomas. Well, I'll let you two to have the tour. I have to go to the wharf. Mr. Percival needs me there. Otherwise, James is going to freak out if I don't help him with hold those coal trucks in. Goodbye, Thomas, said Renaissance. With that, Thomas left for the wharf, leaving Renaissance and Sherwin by themselves. So where are we going to go first? Well, let me start with the transfer yards. This is this is just a small area where we meet up with Thomas. The bigger engines give us the loads that we need for our railway. Sherwin was impressed. How amazing, he said. He was a little unamused. It's not as big as you have it. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to show you a couple of more sights. There's plenty more sights to see, Sherwin. Sherwin jumped into Renaissance's cab, and they set off. The tour had just only begun. Next, Renaissance showed him the wharf. This is a big, massive place. Sherwin was very surprised. But he wasn't really mostly interested on the busy places. It's very nice, but there's not that many engines working there, though. The other engines are busy at work. What other engines are there beside you? Scar Lowy, Sir Handel, Rusty, Mighty Mac, Fearless Freddy, and Duncan, and Peter Sam. They all work very hard to keep this railway running. Oh, and there's also Duke. But he's at the works right now, getting an overhaul. Impressive, said Sherwin. Let's keep moving. There's plenty more to see. I want you to see the mountains. This is the mountains. They're very, very big, said Sherwin. But it's just a bunch of rocks. Oh, there's more. I sure hope so, said Sherwin. Renas was starting to feel a little bit, bit irritated. Irritated and annoyed by Sherwin's ungratefulness. Well, the last place will surely shock you. This is Boulder Quarry. 
Why is it called Boulder Quarry? Asked Sherwin. It's because... Because... It... It goes up to Boulder Mountain. It used to be open until... It closed. Why? Because of the big boulder that chased us all those years ago. A big... A boulder? What do you mean? One day... A drilling, a drilling machine named Thumper had caused the boulder to roll loose. It chased Rusty, Scarlowy, and me, and then Boulder almost had hit Percy, and then it smashed into a dynamite in the shed, saying the shed to go in a blaze. Sherwin was surprised. He was amazed. He had never heard such an incredible story before. How interesting. I feel bad for you guys. Yep. And after... How did that... How happened? What happened afterwards, I mean? Said Sherwin. Well, after the accident, Sir Tom had it was just best if we left this part of the island alone, and plus let Bolt leave Boulder alone. Certain. Sherwin was impressed. What happened to the Boulder? Oh, it's still around. It's sitting on a hill now. It sits on a small hill close to the yards from here. Although, we do best to not... We do our best to be careful so things like that won't happen anymore. I agree, Sherwin said. Come on, let's take you back to the transfer yards. I'm sure... I'm sure it's about time for you to leave soon. Sherwin was very impressed with his tour. As Renes and Sherwin came back to the transfer yards, Thomas came up to the transfer yards. He had just got done working in the wharf with James, and he was ready to head back to the sheds. With his train. Ready to go, Sherwin? Yes, Thomas. He said, uh, give me a minute. Please. Okay, make it quick. Me and James have to take our trains back to the Napford station. So. As the day wore on. As the day wore on, it was time. It was almost about time for Thomas and James to leave with their last trains of the day. So, at the end of the day, Renes asked Sherwin, "How do you like it here so far?" Sherwin asked Renes, "It's very nice," said Sherwin, "and thank you for the for the story about Boulder." And Boulder Mountain. You no know, problem. If you ever want to know anything more that you want to know about about history of the Scarlowy Railway, just come to me or Scarlowy. Thank you, said Sherwin. Come on, Sherwin. We have to. We need to get you back home to Pawtucket soon. Oh, right, of course. Goodbye, Renes. It was your it was nice to meet you. Your railway is very nice. No problem, said Renes. And with that, Sherwin left with Thomas and James. Sherwin waved waved to Renes and Renes blew his whistle. Renes was very happy. To have a new friend that to have a new pet f visitor friend 
that would want to know more about the Scarloy Railway history. And the Scarloy Railway, which, as Renes likes to call it, as his home.